Hi everyone, welcome back. It has been a little while now since I have put up a new video and um, there's been a lot going on. I'm going to post a separate uh, update video for you all if anybody's interested that way. If you're just looking for reviews or some of these makeup related videos, you don't have to sit through it. And um, if you are interested, just keep an eye out for it. But today's video is actually on what I think is the absolute best color corrector that I've tried for redness. And for me, I don't have uh, rosacea or a lot of redness all over my face, but I battle a lot of redness on my nose. And I have for the last few years, and I've tried pretty much every color corrector out there trying to neutralize the redness without it looking really artificial on the skin. That really is my biggest um, pet peeve with a lot of the more green color correctors. They tend to leave a very pasty look to the skin and even when I apply foundation over them, a lot of times I find it's still not as natural looking or as pretty looking as it would have been had I not used the color corrector. Now, having said that, there are a few of the green ones on the market that I think are good, but the one I'm gonna talk about today I think is hands down the best. And let's just actually talk about it. It's from It Cosmetics and it's called the Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Correcting Cream. It came filled about three quarters of the way. I've had this one now for at least eight or nine months and I have maybe used about a third of it. I mean, it's crazy how concentrated this is and a little truly goes a long way. So it ends up being a great value. I believe this retails for $32. I get my IT Cosmetics from Ulta. And like I said, this is probably gonna go another eight months. So that's about, what, a year and a half for 32 bucks. I mean, I use this every day. Sometimes I use this twice a day and it's really, holding its own. So what makes this so great? Right off the bat, you probably could see the first thing and that's that this color corrector is not green. It's actually more of a um, beige with a olive undertone to it. And on my skin, it actually matches really closely to my skin tone. Because it's more of that beige tone, it really, blends in nicely into your skin and meshes well with any foundation I've ever used. And I've used this color corrector on various skin tones. I've used it on fairer skin tones with a lot of pink undertone. I've used it on um, tanner skin tones than my own and it works well across the board. The other awesome thing about this corrector is it has a soft matte finish to it. So you're not getting a lot of shine or dewiness it couples well with any foundation in the sense that it's not going to alter the look of whatever foundation you're putting on top of it but because it is more of a matte finish it's also not going to slip and slide as much i find that some of the green correctors on the market i'm thinking specifically i think mark jacobs has one out that is pretty good but it's very uh, emollient and dewy and for me i found that it moved around a little bit it faded more easily throughout the day this one really locks in place. The other thing too is if you use a long wearing foundation on top of this and really set that area, I have no issues with this wearing 10 plus hours. So it just comes down to what you're doing throughout the day and your skin type. I have combination. My nose is definitely the most oily part on my face and I can get 10 plus hours of wear from this as long as I'm not you know, working out and vigorously sweating. In terms of application of this, I normally like to apply it with my fingers. I find that I get the most coverage and just the smoothest look to my skin when I use my fingers, but it does apply beautifully with a brush. I would actually recommend like a fluffy dome brush, a smaller one. This one is from Morphe, it's the E8, and I love this brush both for under eye concealer and also for buffing in smaller areas of the face. I think that this does a beautiful job for really blending it in. So if you don't like to use your hands or you're a makeup artist, I think that the two together work really beautifully or just something similar to this. Um, I have tried applying this with a beauty blender and I find that it will sheer it out. For me, and I would think for a lot of people, if the idea is to cover up the redness, 
you want the most coverage you're gonna get from it. And one other thing I do wanna point out about this is because it does have more of that soft matte finish, if you have a lot of dry skin or dry patches to your skin, you would definitely benefit from applying a really good moisturizer before applying this because I do find if you have a lot of rough patches, it can start to um, cling to those and enhance them a little. I would say with acne marks, for me, it actually goes on beautifully over them, but um, where skin gets really flaky and dry, that's where sometimes I notice it'll kind of catch on it and look a little bit more textured. So hopefully that answers all your questions. As you can see from the demo, I mean, that says it all. You can see how great it works. And if there is anything else that I forgot to answer in this video, please feel free to let me know in the comments section. I hope you all are having a really good week. And I will talk to you all very soon. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.